Hi, this is VJ from VJ Design. In today's short video, we're going to see how we can create a table of contents without a plugin using the standard block editor in WordPress. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like to watch more of these such videos, please do subscribe. So how can I actually create a table of contents or a page contents block like this so that you can actually click and be taken, your users can be taken to that section. So each section on this page is separated by a heading. And this table of contents basically allows us to let our users navigate down without having to scroll through or read through the entire article. So it helps your readers in navigating your content um, and improves readability as well as it improves uh, the search engine optimization for your page or post by providing clear landmarks for a search engine like Google. So you are actually clearly sectioning your content this way. So how do we do this? I'm going to take you through the setup process. I'm also going to show you how you can ensure that the scroll works as a smooth scroll rather than a jarring jump right so as you can see it's it scrolls so smoothly and the reason for that is a small piece of code that we added towards the very end you don't have to add it but that ensures that it this scroll is smooth rather than a jarring jump right normally it would have been a jarring jump now how is this working if you'd like to understand how this navigation is working you'll notice that the url has changed slightly with a hash faq at the end here Similarly, when I click on any of these other links, you will notice that that URL keeps changing slightly. These are known as anchor or jump links, and we're just going to see how we can create these links. So how do I add such a, a link or links like this? I'm just going to hit refresh, I have removed the table of contents. So just to show you that I've removed those. And we're going to now add these table of contents with without using a plugin. So step one, I'm just going to go and you can either click on the plus and search for these blocks and add them. So the first to begin, begin with, I'm just going to add a, a paragraph block and say just base, basically say page contents. Right. And I will also bold that next. I'll go to the next line and click on plus again and this time choose the list block. This allows you to create a bulleted or a numbered list. So you can choose to create a numbered list or a bulleted list. Bulleted list works fine for me in this case. And what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to just copy paste my heading here. So I've got my first list item. Scroll down and get my second heading so I've, I've divided this page into multiple sections um, and I've used headings to separate each section so there we go frequently asked questions and I think I'll also include uh, the conclusion as a heading right I've got a con heading for the conclusion so people might want to just jump there depends on if you want to create it this way so with four headings there now, sometimes you might decide that you want to go deeper. And in that case, yes, you can create a sub list item because there are a couple of heading level threes. You'll notice these are heading level twos, as you can see, heading level, whereas this one is heading level three. So I can create links to a subheading as well. I'll show you that in a second. So there we go. I'll show you a couple of links there as well. So how do we do this? Um, I'll also add my second one. Easy table of contents. This is the plugin I'm using, uh, the easy table of contents, but I'm planning soon to go without any plugins completely um, because I'm more comfortable just adding them in manually when I need them. Mm, and further, there's soon a block about to come up with, uh, in, gener in the WordPress ecosystem. There's going to be a block that will allow us to create a table of contents by just going clicking and adding a block. That is another option. Um, however, if you want to do that straight away right now, the heroic table of contents is a good block plugin to do that just now. 
But if you add um, only, if you are planning to only add a table of contents to certain long articles that you've written, then a manual one like this one is more than enough. Now, how do I create these uh, so-called jump links? You go to the, your heading and you need to create a unique uh, identifier, right? So when we were clicking on these links, you saw that to jump to uh, the TOC plugin section, we needed to create an identifier uh, for the plugin section. So each section or each heading in for which labels each section, each heading needs to have its own unique name. Let's call this, this first one is, um, so you need to go click on the heading first. So you need to be in your heading, then click on advanced and every um, heading block provides you the ability to add something known as a HTML anchor. There's a bit of write up here and a link that tells you more about HTML anchors. So here I've given my anchor the name TOC manual. I probably don't even need that, but you notice I haven't added any spaces. So just avoid spaces and unique characters or weird characters in there. I typically just keep them as one word like that manual or um, a couple of words. So I'm just going to type in TOC manual as I had it before. I'm also going to copy that. And the reason for that is because I want to create a link. Now I want to create a link from this list item here to this heading here. So how do we do that? Step one, select your um, list item, having copied the HTML anchor from down there. And you click on the link icon. And then you put a, a hash or a pound symbol, followed by pasting that name, that unique HTML anchor that you've given, and then hit the submit button. Now you created a, a link to that. I'm just going to continue creating links to the other ones. Um, I'm going to create a link to the next one. I know this one is plugin. Right. The next one is FAQ. I've kept him fairly. So each page, um, as long as they are unique to that page, you can repeat these in other pages, but on that page, ensure that it's unique, right? So the, because uh, you need to be able to scroll down to the right one. If you have multiple with the same uh, name or same uh, HTML anchor, you're going to confuse the system. All right, so now I need to link to these uh, two sub menu items. All I did here was I moved them under by just going um, and moving them under. So what I'm going to do here is scroll down and see if I have given them a name. I don't think I have, so I haven't. I'll just call this heroic, right? Keep it short. Another option, if you don't want to sit down and manually label each one, is to just copy paste that heading in full over here and notice what happens if I just tab out of there it actually creates the proper um, proper HTML anchor by putting hyphens in between and removing all spaces. So you don't have to, uh, with large number of headings, you don't have to um, worry about creating them manually. All you need to do is just go now, paste it in, copy that, scroll up, select your link. I'm going to only select this bit and Put a hash, don't forget to put the hash, otherwise the link doesn't work. The hash is the trick. And then the last one, let's just add the heroic table. There we go. Scroll back up, select that area, hash, don't forget that. And I'm not going to open them in new tabs or anything, but you can see the advantage of having a table of contents like this. I'm going to hit update and view post. There we go, we've got our links and I can click to navigate to the section which says, now you're not seeing that because I have this black bar, we can actually see this in a, if I log out or if I go into a incognito window where I'm not logged in, you will be able to see that it actually takes even from another page, you can direct users to the correct section, right? So there we go, so create a table of contents manually, um, how to go to heroic table of contents. There we go. Each section is scrolling. 
I think the plugins one I made a mistake it's not navigating properly let's just go see why that is um, it's probably uh, me typing in incorrectly no it is working correctly so we've got um, the different sections being scrolled to correctly so the frequently asked questions now now how am I uh, scrolling smoothly now it's not a jarring scroll it's a really nice smooth scroll how did I create that so you can see that it actually goes and stops exactly at the heading um, at exactly here and it goes through smoothly like slowly like that how do I create that smooth scroll this is a, there's a bit of code that you need to add I, I've added that piece of code for you under the frequently asked questions section there, I just need to copy paste this code so all you need to do is just go copy that you just need to click in there select the lot it selects the lot you just copy then the next step is I'm going to my um, uh, customize so go into your customizer go into additional CSS now you'll notice I have a plugin called simple CSS you don't need to have that plugin to just add this piece of code your customizer should have additional CSS where you just go paste this piece of code and hit publish and that's it that then creates this smooth scroll effect for you that is um, easy table of contents without having to without having to go through the process of creating them um, using a plugin so all manual and uh, no code method you can also if you have a, a theme like generate press you, you would have noticed you can style your table of contents to look exactly the way you want by using a container block so that's a tutorial for another day if you're interested in in see me, me seeing how to create that if you want to watch me create that let me know in comments uh, below and I'm happy to then create um, such a video showing you how to just modify uh, the look and co the look and feel to make that this block which looks like this now this block look like this we can easily create that not a problem at all so yeah, leave your comments and let me know give me a thumbs up if you like this video um, and do hit subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this signing off vj from vj design thank you